Welcome back to Spirit of Women's Home for the Holidays. I'm Brandon Chase Wellborn, and today I'm joined by Kate McElroy from Walnut Square Gifts and Stationery in downtown Hattiesburg. Kate, so good to see you. You too, Chase. How are you? Pretty good. Good. So, Kate, tell us a little bit about Walnut Square before we get started in our demonstrations today. All right. Well, like you said, we're located in downtown Hattiesburg, and we are a gifts and stationery store. Um, we have things from uh, one of a kind pottery to jewelry to pretty much anything you can think of. As we know, gifts are an important part of the holidays. Today, what we wanted to do was just take a moment to show you some fun ways to wrap your gifts, add ornaments, um, greenery, things like that. Like Chase said, gifts are a really important part of the holiday. So we're here today to just show you all some ways to make them fun and festive. So Kate, give us some tips to make your gifts a little more festive this season. All right, well first, you're gonna to need to make sure that you have all of your supplies. Um, you need some ribbon, some raffia, your scissors, your tape, and your paper. Okay, so I see that we have some cocktail napkins here wrapped up, which mm -hmm. would make a great hostess gift. They would. Um, what can we do to this to kind of add a little extra or take it over the top? I think that what you need to do is add a cute ornament, kind of like this Santa one. You just tie it on there like so. And just to reiterate, so if I don't nece can't necessarily find this raffia somewhere mm -hmm. else, you guys carry it at Walnut, We right? do. We have every color you could think of. We have all of our line ribbon. We have pretty much every supply you could ever need. Well, so I'm going to punt to another question uh -huh. here. I'm pretty busy during the holiday season. You know, I don't finish up uh -huh, most a lot of houses are. or parties that time, and everybody's pretty busy during the holiday. So can Walnut wrap gifts for me? We can indeed. We love to wrap. Um, if you bring them to us anytime, we can usually have it within the or by the end of the week. Um, no gifts too big, too small. Anything you need wrapped, we can do it for you. Um, this is that. that I love that. Thank you. Okay, so what about people who don't know how to make a bow? Um, Could you give us some tips on I that? I can for sure. I have this box right here that I just wrap the paper around it like you would any present, and um, I picked this ribbon color. Sometimes you don't have to go with the traditional colors. You can kind of mix it up. Like this is an olive green, not necessarily what I would have picked as a traditional Christmas color, but you just get your ribbon like this. But I think it works great with the nutcracker paper and the green and the nutcracker. This nutcracker paper is so cute. Um, but you just kind of, you get your present like this. It doesn't matter what side you start on, what angle, and you grab it and you're gonna pinch both sides and twist. So I just move my package to make that happen like that. And I also, once you see it finished, you'll notice that there's no knot at the bottom. The knot's always at the top, so your present will sit flat. And then you just wrap it back around. Make sure you have an extra tail. And you get it, and you go over the top like this, and pull through sideways. And you don't worry about folding your ribbon. It won't matter at all. Look fine once you get it done. I like to have extra long tails, just so I have a little extra something to grab onto. And I'll just cut it like that, pull it, and you're done with that part. So I know even now, some of the people joining us today mm -hmm. are like, I'm already lost. lost. Um, and we're all in a hurry for the holiday season. If you can't make a bow, or if I don't have time to wrap my gift because I have so much going mm -hmm. on, do you guys wrap gifts for us? Can we bring our own stuff in and you take care of that? We do indeed. Um, we offer custom gift wrapping. No gifts too big or too small. You bring it in and hopefully we'll have it back to you by the end of the week. It doesn't take long and we love doing it. That is perffect. Yes. So let's finish making this All bow. Right. So now you can see I have the knot at the top, not the bottom. It's like that. And I just grab my same ribbon and I'll again make another tail. It's okay if it's a little creased because I'll fix that later. And you bunny ear it. It's almost like tying your tennis shoes. You just pinch, twist, so you make sure that the shiny part of the ribbon's on the front. Pinch and twist. And you do it, I probably do five tails on each side, just so it looks kind of full, but it's not too much. So could we do something fun to add in some more texture? Could oh, I like absolutely. take that raffia and? Yes, that'd be so cute. Add that and you can make your little loops too. And now you guys sell this. I know this is hard to find places. Yes, it is. That, this is at Walnut. Mm -hmm. We have ribbon, raffia, we have shred to put in the bottom of packages, tissue paper, you name it, we have it. And I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing she's doing with loops and just do, you know, 
several. You can never too, have too much when it comes to wrapping, decorating, or the holidays. No, never. And I always like to cut my ribbon at an angle just so it looks a little bit cleaner and more done. And I just tie it onto the package like that. And sometimes it looks a little off at first, but that's when you go in there and you just fluff. I like to pull mine up and kind of to the center. Chase, cut me the extra tail to put your wrap in. Makes it a little easier to just tie because it's not as bulky. We're just going to tie that right on top of the satin ribbon. And you just flush, fluff a little bit more. Like that. I'll cut my tails just a little bit shorter. And then you're ready to go. So if we want to jazz it up a little more, just like you did with the cocktail napkins, mm -hmm. um, I guess we could take this little nutcracker ornament. And yes, put it, on top. Match, it would match the paper. You just kind of time in the middle. You can either time by this or time by this little loop at the top. But you grab your same tails that you did with before, loop it through, and just tie. And you can cut those. I love that. As most it's of you so guys cute. have already seen, I love nutcrackers, so I'm pretty sure I'll be at Walnut to get some of this paper. Yes. So most people know me as a flower guy, so what about adding some fresh cut or florals to a package? Have you ever done that? Or we you? have. Okay. Um, I think fresh flowers are a fabulous addition. It makes it a little bit extra special, you know, because it's alive and you don't have much time to do it, so you know you did it right before the party. So what do we have that we could throw, you know, a little bow on with some fresh cut florals? There's some Fraser fur right beside you and I think that'd be adorable. Oh perfect. With some stuff. I brought some fresh cut and right. I prefer a double face satin. I think I saw that you brought you some double face satin. I brought some. Perfect. Um I kinda think with using the double face satin, of course you can do a bow like mm -hmm. that, but on something like this, I think just a simple two-loop two loop bow is a little more appropriate, yes. wouldn't you say? I'd agree. Um, and I'm pretty much, for those of you watching at home, I'm just putting this double face satin under the box, tying it like normal, and I'm gonna make two loops like you are tying yeah. your shoe. This, you can always go back and just fluff out when you're done. Nothing major here. I love that look. It's simple, doesn't use a lot of ribbon. Probably cut my tails a little short. Which is fine. But that is okay. I feel like if you're adding anything extra, it just kind of takes away from the tails being a tad short. So. Don't stress over the small stuff. And then, this is a Fraser fur candle. I, I wish I had some Fraser fur, fur, but it's a little early in the season for that. But we can tie in. We'll use a little rock in here. And I'm just gonna tie in some cypress. And what about a little berry? Oh, I love that. all this can be cut right out of your yard. And I think that is just Now that just makes a little that perfect hostess gift or I love that holiday party gift. Holiday Which party gift. A little gift for your coworker. And these Fraser fur candles are pretty good. Oh, they're my favorite. Favorite holiday scent by far. 
And you can pretty much get creative and do whatever you want. I mean, pine cones. Oh, you I can love add, pine cones. We've talked about ornaments, fresh cut. You could add in, you know, a little rose. Um, whatever you wanted to do just to take your gift over the top just a little bit this holiday season. Love that. Perfect. It is. I kind of want to take it home with me. <laughs> so, any other tips or tricks that you would share with us for... Even if you don't have any ornaments on hand, live greenery, anything like that, even just a simple like gift tag like this is cute. Like we have this bag right here, and if you just wanted to tie a little gift tag, put the name on it, like a dirty Santa gift, you just wanna make it extra cute, you just do the same thing. You just tie it behind the bow. And I know some people are afraid of bags, but there's no reason oh, no. I love a bag. to be afraid of bags. It's just as wrapped as I exactly. mean, a wrapped box. Just put some tissue paper on the top, had your bow and a little thing, and it just kind of makes it a little extra special. And I love how you added the same type bow that you would add to a box mm -hmm. on your on bag. bag. Just an extra special. And like I said before, you don't have to do traditional col or holiday colors. Like there's hot pink in this one just to make it a little extra spunky. And have fun. I tend to like to match all of my wrapping to the trees. And as you've seen, you know, from the tour of my house, Every room's a different theme. Well, every wrapping paper for every room fits the theme of that room. You know, so have fun with it. It's a holiday. It's supposed to be festive. It's supposed to be whatever you like, whatever you enjoy. So there's no right or wrong. And you know, when you're wrapping packages, you're giving a gift, wrapping packages, I mean, the wrapping is just as important as the gift. You know, it doesn't matter if it is, you know, small or big. Just have fun with it. That was so much fun. Kate, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. I've had a great time. It has been fun. You've shown us some great tips to take your gifts over the top this season. Guys, make sure to visit Walnut Square Gifts and Stationery in downtown Hattiesburg for all your gifts and wrapping needs this season. Now, I'm going to head outside and show you how to wrap your door up for the holidays. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to show you how to wrap up your door for the holidays. I've gathered all my stuff, my garland, my ribbon, hammers, nails, wire, anything you need to embellish your door, get it together beforehand. I'm going to get started and we'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, so I'm adding some, I've added, put my garland up, I've added some branches that I have just cut, you know, from outside. Um, my door is not the traditional front door in a home, but it doesn't really matter wherever you are, what your front door is. You can always make it over the top and festive for the holidays. Right now I'm going to add these snowflakes in. I'm going to add some velvet ribbon. I'm keeping this a little more woodsy with a little pop of color, and then that'll be it. All right, guys, so we've wrapped up the front door. Um, we've used our garland. I cut some branches from the yard um, that are really 
liked the texture of, worked those in using our garland stems, tying those in. Um, I added some, a little more woodsy like snowflakes with some wooden trees and these arbovitas in the planters. And then we threw in the same red velvet that we've used inside. We have used that throughout, just to give you a little Southern holiday flair, very welcoming. That's a wrap for Home for the Holidays Wrap It Up Edition. Be sure to join us next week for Home for the Holidays Entertaining Edition featuring Ann Love Helveston of All the Love and Honey. See you soon.